up guys this is enderx here and i am back with another video today we are going to be uh we are going to be continuing the joy of creation with the living room let's buy the living room let's get it over with let's go come on let's go do you really think it was a good idea letting him stay well it's not like he was in any condition to do anything did you see his clothes it's like he came out of a bonfire i mean i could have you know, called an ambulance, maybe dropped him off near a hospital would have been better. I, I just don't think I'd feel comfortable with a complete stranger just ending up sleeping in our house is all. Oh, honey, are you worried about the kids? Of course I'm worried about the kids. He's sleeping right next to them. How can I not be? You're what stupid. Me, Val? You're stupid. We could stay here to make sure nothing happens if you're that worried. All night? <laughs> of course all night. Come on, don't you want to spend time with me more? You are done updating your site for the anniversary. How about we just sit here in the living room and watch some TV while we keep an eye on the kids? I mean, uh, sure, I guess. Yeah, I guess we could do that. I, I've just got to go make sure one more time nothing's wrong, all right? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll just stay right here. But don't take too long. <laughs> you worry too much. He doesn't worry enough. What? What was that? Oh, I don't know, ma'am. I wonder what it was. For anyone who's wondering uh, why I'm in a bad mood, it's because um, Hello? I'm recording a lot Is of videos in one day. If anyone can hear me, please respond immediately. Who is it? What in God's name is going on here? Oh, uh, it, it's me, Michael. Uh, look, there's no time to explain. Just know that you are in grave danger. Is Scott there with you? My husband? No, he isn't. He, he just went to... What do you mean I'm in danger? Oh, no. Uh, Ma'am, I am very, very sorry. This is all my fault. You need to stay calm. I'll try to help you through this. Just please listen to me very carefully. What? Listen, there are monsters that are going to arrive to your room real soon. If they see you, you are dead. Do you understand that, man? It is very important that whatever occurs, just don't let them see you. All right? I... I... I know, I know. Look, just... You're in the living room, right? Try to focus on the three entrances behind you. The exit to the house should be locked and they won't come through there. If there are any monitors nearby, then they should be forced to produce a camera system for you. Ma'am, is the TV in your living room turned on? Uh, yes, but it's filled with static. Uh, all right, uh, please keep an eye on it. It should help you. Look, they usually come from either the left side or the right side. You have nothing to stop them, so if you see one of them about to enter the room, just hide. Hide? Hide where? Uh, just... Look, look, just stay out of sight, okay? Yes, if they try to come in, just move somewhere they won't be able to see you, okay? Well, I don't know which one will come from which side, but if you look at the TV, you might be able to tell by yourself. Uh, maybe if you can, try to see if you can look through the doors, too. Uh, windows, uh, keyholes? Yes, keyholes! If any of your doors has a keyhole you can peek through, keep checking it. They won't notice you on the other side. Trust me. Uh, so yes, I, I can't stress this enough. If anything comes through those doors, hide. Just hide away from view. You might hear noises later on in the night. Pay attention to those. Don't look at anything that appears in your room and try to stay safe. Please. Do, do I have to stay here all night? What about my children? What about my husband? Look, it's very hard to explain, ma'am, and no, just wait until 6 a.m. to be safe. But, but, but don't worry, the time will pass much faster. Just keep an eye on the clock and wait for that time. They should all be gone in a few minutes, and then the hours will reset. Now, please, if you survive, I need you to grab your kids and get out of this house as soon as possible. I'm gonna help Scott get out of here myself. Don't worry, just please get yourself and your sons out of harm's way. I... I don't understand what is even happening. How do you know all of this stuff? Wait... Wait a second. How do you know my husband's name? 
I was there when he found you, Michael. He never said his name. How do you know? Michael? He's part of the Matrix, buddy. Buddy, bro. Anyway, I'm kind of in a bad mood because I uh, recorded some Doors videos earlier and the game is just so much more shitty than I remember. It was genuinely pissing me off. Hey, Chica. Chica, so do I look at Chica or do I not look at Chica? I don't know. Okay. Foxy's gonna be here any minute. Not there yet. Well, hold on. It, it, if they're already unsynced, then wouldn't they just stay unsynced? I guess not, because game has to game, but. I hear that. Okay, that's Bonnie. I don't know what to do for Chica. I don't know if I'm supposed to stare at her or not. Or look at her. Or not. Open the door. What do I even do now? I think he has one more phase. Bonnie, it's 2 a.m. I think he has one more phase. That's Bonnie for sure.
I guess Foxy's jump scare just replaces Freddy's for some reason. <laughs> At this point, I'm honestly going to call this a terrible game. I'm going to call it. You cannot have a game that that is this difficult, man. This isn't Elden Ring. This isn't what is it called, Bloodborne or something. This isn't Dark Souls game. This isn't a fucking Dark Souls game. How can a game be this fucking difficult, dude? I mean, fucking seriously. I've been playing it for the past five hours. I I looked up the strategy online, and it it works for the first three or four hours of the game and then it fucks you fuck this game This is how it should be. Freddy, I swear to God, if you kill me, I'm going to quit this game. I'm really just trying to be as precise as possible right now. Please. I 
just say we got one more in them. Say that we got one more round of both before Bonnie comes back. Once Foxy comes through, Bonnie's gonna come through. Probably in the same circumstances, too. Alright. Come through, Bonnie, please. God, please. Both of them, I think. Foxy's coming quicker. Don't like that. But I think I have enough time. I have enough time for both. Fuck you, Foxy. Bitch. So the thing with Foxy is, is he's ramping up. Foxy's ramping up. Freddy's coming through the door. This is dumb timing. This is really dumb timing. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. You saw it first here, people. I died to the air. Yep. Just... The molecules around me just transformed into Foxy, and I died. Alright. This game is a buggy fucking mess. I've been at this for... I don't know fucking how long. It's 4 a.m. I've been at this since at least 12 or 11, maybe. This is bullshit. The door didn't open. It at, at least open the door if it was Foxy who killed me. But it, we all both know it wasn't fucking Foxy, man. It's not fair, and it's not fun, okay? 
I've been at this. I was, I was, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm making progress, but it's taken way too fucking long. I quit. Fine. Fine. I'm a quitter. Fine. Whatever. I'll play the fucking demo, I guess. This game isn't fucking scary. It's a pussy.